programming lessons for eight-year-olds. They start early in Estonia. Kids here even design their own software and program the controls of mini-robots. When you program, you have to work very precisely to make the robot do what you want. I want to be the best programmer in Estonia, bigger than Skype. Everyone here knows the pioneer of video calling. It was the first digital success story to come from an Estonian programmer. The small country has always been ahead of the game where internet technology is concerned. Since the year 2000, each of the 1.3 million residents has had internet access thanks to free public Wi-Fi. Sim Sikud is an IT consultant for the government and is fully in favor of digitalization. Using his ID card, he gains access to his digital file with all his personal details, including health information, driving license and income. It takes him five minutes to complete a tax return. The user can also decide who has access to his private information. Uh, we provide a privacy measure for people because uh, through logbook we can see who has been accessing our data, our files. So for example here I can see that say in my health record my dentist and my family uh, doctor they've been sort of accessing my file, that's okay. But going digital can leave you vulnerable. In 2007 Estonia was the victim of a cyber attack. Since then, backups have been stored abroad for safety. Uh, if something should happen in Estonia, for example, with uh, digital signing or, uh, you know, I don't know, our government, other systems going down, for example, uh, whether it's a natural disaster or we have some conflict or whatever. So basically, uh, our government could still function, our services could still function because we would have the systems and data backed up abroad. We can basically run them from a foreign server. In companies and the government alike, the digital world is storming ahead. Estonia has been branching out abroad too. The country offers something called e-residence to online companies. It allows them to conduct their business through Estonia. And native Estonian businesses are fully on board. We're a really small country. There is almost no point whatsoever to build something for the Estonian market alone, which immediately drives you to think globally. And when you think globally, you're already competing with anybody else in the world. Big plans are also being made by little people. I want to build new worlds for Minecraft or develop a computer game or open my own YouTube channel. The next generation of business leaders is lined up and waiting.